Hey there, people of the internet, friends, and family. Welcome to the channel. It's me, y'all boy, D-Rex, and today we are reacting to a death battle. D over Alucard, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures versus Helsing. Uh, link to the original video down below. Go check it out on the official uh, death battle YouTube channel, and then come back here and watch it together. Okay, so I really know little to nothing about either of these characters besides from the analysis, and... And I gotta say, both these guys are just <laughs> ridiculous, bloodthirsty monsters. Um, personally, I want Alucard to win just because uh, Dio is just a sick, d disgusting, degenerate monster. And I mean, he made a mu you know, like, what was it? Oh, he resurrected, you know, the dead. And forced a mother and made a mother eat her own child. That's oh, I mean, I think the only thing Alucard has a leg up on Dio, I think, is his uh, healing, his his healing abilities. Like D or Alucard has been around, you know, f almost six hundred years, while Dio is just you know has been alive for a little over a hundred. So Alucard's got experience and his healing factor is superior, but Dio, I think, you know, he's just faster stronger and his overall uh, has the superior skills um though what that that third eye or that sixth sense that Alucard has I I wonder if he can see uh Dio stand with that that'd be interesting to find out if he can or not um other than that yeah uh I'm going with Dio for the win though personally I want Alucard to win because <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alrighty, so with that out of the way, uh, let us see what happens. And play. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm going with the 3D backgrounds, or. Or actually, hold on. What, what, are, what kind of, you know, rendering are they using? Because this is. This is slick. I, I I'm just really digging this animation. And again, I you know the 3D background, pixelated characters. It's I just love how they do this stuff. <laughs> you interrupted my dinner. Funny, I was just thinking about having mom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's something else that I forgot is he has the ability to freeze time. And uh, I don't think Alucard has anything in his arsenal that can bypass that. At least that, none that I can remember. But I could be wrong. Checkmate! Very weak dog. You thought you'd triumph, but it was I. Dio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of dog. <laughs> if I'm a dog, your dog. <laughs> Ow. This is a very good Halloween episode. Whoa. Oh, he unleashed his full power. The, the, the army. What the hell are you? Oh, am I? Was I? Real fucking vampire. Oh, oh. Maybe my prediction was wrong. Oh, Alucard might take this. <laughs> uh, that stand, though, is going to be the problem. 
you know, the animation for that tidal wave of blood you know, is just so smooth that it's amazing. Oh, look at that smug look on his face. Wipe it off, Alucard. <laughs> Sword fight with a clock. You want blood, you disgusting monster? Choke on your own. Oh yeah, that was... closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> the end. KO! Alucard pulled out all the stumps, but like the bloody drink, it was in vain. <laughs> Finger guns! He may have been the king of the vampires in Helsing, but Dio had everything he needed to clip the bird of Hermes' wings. Yep. Alucard's strategy in most fights is to heal from an opponent's attacks until they get tired, then take advantage of an opening. But he couldn't do that here because Dio didn't really have any openings. And Alucard wasn't nearly as strong or as fast to compensate. Yeah. Alucard could survive crashing that jet and move 1,500 times faster than sound. But scaling from stone free and silver chariot, the world could punch relativistic meteors and move 50 Oh yeah, I forgot he could heal from light. the that blood. Would make Dio nearly 40,000 times stronger and 800,000 times faster than Alucard. Yeah, you know, this was yeah, this was a stomp. Hell, Alucard couldn't even see or hurt the world in the first place. Okay, so like, yep, user. invisible spirits, okay. Stone mask vampires from JoJo aren't weak to holy weapons like Helsing vampires are. Hell's gone. That was another thing that I was wondering. Way. Plus, Alucard just had no way to get past the time stop. Even if he did somehow, Dio could just freeze him on contact. And considering Dio has taken punches from Star Platinum, Hell would have had trouble doing damn realistically kill Alucard three million times in quick succession without any viable options for attack or openings to exploit, Alucard's soul-based regeneration meant he would run out of lives eventually, and level zero only sped up that process. Sure, that army's nothing to scoff at, but consider the time Dio's eye beam split those huge-ass clouds. Estimating the size of the cloud, megatons of TNT, enough to wipe out Alucard's army in one go, leaving him vulnerable. Just like when this other vampire, Walter, could have killed him by piercing his heart. Alucard's even admitted it himself. Hell, Alucard's army is filled with blood. You know, that thing that Dio uses to heal? But Wiz, what about Schrodinger? With his powers, Al can't die unless he chooses to. While Schrodinger's quantum immortality makes him impossible to kill normally, it is literally part of the story that Alucard cannot have Schrodinger's abilities and his greater array of powers at the same time, or else he'll no longer exist. We can't give him both Schrodinger and his standard powers without breaking the lore and rules of the character. Even okay. if we did, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't help him kill Dio at all, so at best it'd be a stalemate. Until Dio hypnotizes Alucard, asks him about his powers, and forces him to eject Schrody like the rest of his souls. Shocking though it may be, Dio's overwhelming offense, impenetrable defense, and uniquely devastating abilities wore Alucard down until the no-life king had no lives left. Alucard got Dio'd! Uh, Boomstick, you tell the worst puns in the world. That's right, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. And hey, wait a minute, that was a pun. That's my territory. <laughs> I'm talking about this. The winner is Dio. Oh,
Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. We really hope you enjoyed that episode of Death Battle. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, just click the box on the screen and check out Red vs. Blue Family Shatters, where the Red vs. Blue Zero crew gets up to all sorts of wacky antics. It's really fun. No, I need to check that out. That'll also work on this show, so give it a watch. Thanks. We'll do. But who's next? Akuma? And Shao Kahn. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. Uh, you know, about halfway through, I thought Ayukara was gonna, you know, maybe pull a trick out of his, you know, hat or whatever. But then, yeah, when uh, the time freeze abilities and all that were coming in, it's just like, yeah. Just, deal is just way too powerful and way too fast. But, anyway. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications uh, to keep updated on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.